I am here. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, just going to get rid of the volume on my iPad. Hello Chrissy, how are you? Geez, you're quick, you're here before me. Oh, I don't know what that was. No, I got a da ding. Oh, Scrap of Fantasies is now live. Okay, okay. dokie. So we're here and we're creating with the Savannah, oh, cut the cover up. The Savannah collection from Stamperia, and Quentin's going to tag Stamperia in. We're creating with their six by six paper pad. Um, interesting concept. Um, when you cut up and get all these little card things, these little guys, these ones, and I cut them all. Whoopie, whoopie. Um, that's the front cover. See. Uncover. 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 So I cut up my front cover and I've got all these little card things. And then I cut up the sheet that has. Where's the back cover? I'm still cutting the back cover. That's this one. Um, so there's the front cover and I've cut it up. And then this one with the circles, with these circles. Oh, geez, that's cut really quick. It's terrible. It's terrible, Nero. Okay. Um, I'll cut that one up. That's that one there. And this is the back cover, and I'm sort of cutting some of it up. I've cut, you know, a couple of animals and elephant and a baby and a rhino and a rhino and a baby. Some little circles. It's got lots of little circles on there. So I like circles. So good thing I like circles. And two zebra kissing, and I've got borders. And they're off the front cover. See, borders are off the front cover. So I have cut a few things up. I've got a little container here. So we've been making scrapbook pages a lot lately. So sorry to upset everyone if I create something different. Oh, I need to show you what my new mat is. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm, oh, and I cut the one with the squares up. So I thought a six by six book would be interesting. And then I was like, we haven't made like a mini book for a little while. Oh, we did. We made a tag book this week and I forgot to bring it home. We made, and, that, and it's based on one of my classes from 2004, just a little while ago. Let's just sit all this here. I've got the plastic that it came in just in case, because I think I might need a palette and I, dug out some brown paint yep, a tube of Montmartre brown paint and I cleaned the goopy bit out of my glue and then I had the glue with a lid off and it's leaked and it's, yep, it's going to make another goopy thing for me to dig out uh, what was I going to show you oh we're going to make like a folio thing I'm going to show you my what my new mat is I usually use one from Officeworks um, we haven't been able to get lately, we were getting like massive, big, massive, big um, sketchbooks into the store and that's what I was using. Uh, I think Alex has got one. So I am using, let's turn it over, I am using our uh, 2020 Kiki K family calendar. <laughs> and I've got 12, oh no, there's a cover. 13. I've got 14 pages. Let's see how I can, it's not quite as big. Let's see how much I can trash that. It was sitting over in the corner, so it's really dusty. I think Missy's laid on it. It's just... Missy's laid on something. Apparently. And poor Meow Meow. I don't think we'll hear her in class. Madeline, she's got a sore hand. So we've got a little container of stuffs. I cut a little pile of fakey photos. Have no idea what I'm using. Here we go. My problem for a second. I'm having trouble with Oh, okay. So I've got 
So this is very interesting what's in front of me. It's a piece of getaway vellum. So I restocked the printed vellum today. Sorry, I'm just at the wipes thing because I haven't filled the canvas yet. I've got the good ones. They're under the de desk, hidden. <laughs> what's the matter? Read Leslie's comment. You should have taken the Zodiac when I offered it last time, Leslie. What was that? Evening watching Tanana Island. We are cut off in both directions. Lamington Bridge over Mary and Schultz Bridge near Tanana Hall. And no, it hasn't rained. Yeah, we haven't. We haven't even had. We haven't even had a sparrow drop fly over. Um, just gonna say, Leslie, you really should have taken the offer of the Zodiac because it's just sitting in the shed or on a boat. No, it's just in the shed. It's in the shed. I could just see Leslie Cruz. Can I retake the offer queue? <laughs> well, we're going to have to get that Zodiac to you at some stage, aren't we, Leslie? Because I'm thinking you need the Zodiac more than we do. We have two catamarans here ready to sail away when the great flood comes. If there's a great flood, we just push them off and say, who's catamarans are they? So, Quentin's challenged me to use the binoculars because no one likes them, apparently. I didn't say. I did grab a path less travelled and I did paint a path less travelled for class this week and not use it because I couldn't fit it on my page. I forgot to bring home my pages. Yep. We used Minte Next Trip this week and oh my gosh, it was so fun to use. We made a mini tag book based on my shabby chic tag book class from 2004. We just didn't have vellum in it. Have you opened up YouTube? Oh, whoopsie. Just going to open the YouTube page. Oops. I knew I forgot to do something. Just to make sure so that we don't get any scammers on our YouTube I live feed. I wrong. You know, well, than did you tag in Stamperia? Yeah, don't know. Um, I've got an explore word and I got the caravans and stuff, but I don't know. And this is the new getaway vellum. And it is the same print as the back of paper five, paper five from getaway. That's paper five from getaway. So I have got some getaway here because I've only got a six by six paper pad. I'm thinking I might make a little, little mini book folio thing. So let's get over here. So if you really wanted to go to town with this, you could get the collectibles book. Now the collectibles book, I've had someone say, oh, can you show the collectibles book on the video? Because it is very um, exciting. So they call them a collectibles pad and it is six inches by 12 inches and they have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten double-sided fussy cut pages plus you get a bonus on the back of the cover and the back of the inside back cover. So the back of the inside back cover is this pretty print. Now that is very similar to... Paper 867. And then you've got the lines. And then on the back of the lines, you have the lines in reverse. So see, they're flipped in reverse. How exciting is that? And then you've got elephants. They used to have just fussy cutting on the front and print on the back. So the elephants in the reverse, if you want them to face the other way. And then we've got a page of giraffes. Facing the other way. Oh. Let's do it sideways so you can see it. The glue is just being a menace. And then we've got zebra. Facing the other way. And rhinoceros. Rhinoceros. And then this one is some of the little square embellishments. And then on the back of that you've got the zebra print. And then you've got some um, exotic flowers and orchids. And on the back of that, they're reversed. And then you've got some desert African-type trees. Oh, damn ants. 
no rain, but we've got ants. Um, trees, and then they're in reverse in the back. And then you've got, this is like what was the inside of the front cover of the 6x6 book, which I've hacked up. And on the back of that is, oh, actually, that is the 867 print. The other one is a different print. And then you've got the masks. Um, just wait. Um, oh, hello, Agata. Um, oh, is that from Cheryl? Is it Cheryl's comment I'm reading? No, I was reading the one about the lady from Poland. Oh, where are we? I'm coming. He's telling me to read. Oh, there's lots of comments now. Holy crackers. Okay. He's telling me I need to read a comment and I, I can't see it. I'm coming back here to Sandra's. I did see Sandra's. I discovered that the cutting out of the globe was not part of the original homework. No, it's the homework from Tuesday morning. Sorry, Sandra. I did say that it was Tuesday's homework. So it was we only knew classes. about it if we had, yes. Yep, but I didn't touch that piece of paper, so you just had it there to cut out. I think I mentioned it right at the very start of class on Wednesday night, but I don't think you arrived in time, and I'm very sorry about that. How are you feeling, Cheryl? Have you been thinking? Yes, Cheryl. How is Cheryl going? Cheryl's fine. Very wet for Leela. Um, I'm just telling. Oh, hello. I got a hello from Pol Hello in Poland. Yes, I did say hello. I haven't left home for two days. Been too wet. Wow, Sandy. It's cut off on Morrowfield Road at the bridge, so had to. That's not all right. Go up off the service road. Oh, wow. Coles Car Park's underwater. Wow. Just finished clearing and repairing the fences. I know. Last weekend and this week. Looks like we are back to square one. Still pouring here. A lot better off than Grantham at the moment. They are risking people off the roofs. Yes, I know. Um, yeah. It's okay. If you come to Gladstone, we don't have to worry about mowing the lawns because they're all dead still. Yeah, well, more if you're rolling the road in the Coles car park. The lady from Bundaberg I was talking today, it was pouring rain there. Well, I yeah. Her, so. um, some masks, and then we reverse. In a mask, ours was from Papua New Guinea. It was sort of this colour toning, but this length, but more skinnier face. And then this is the inside of that cover. And there we go. So I'm going to hand that to Quentin to put back in the bag. Oh, pardon me. So, public service announcements. If you're in a rainy area, please stay safe. Look after yourself. Oh, hello in Israel. It's morning in Israel. Hello, how are you? And our, and our second public service announcement is our hearts and prayers with everyone in Europe, especially the Ukraine and Poland and neighbouring countries. And just really, truly stay safe, everyone really 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 concerning and worrying and makes our issues here seem tiny oh except for those that are flooding because flooding is never fun um but yes um so we've got deborah and fine really on YouTube because deborah's got uh him and her hissy fits oh no yes so if you're having trouble on facebook remember we're on youtube as well so it might and quite, i'm going to put a link up to youtube the YouTube video. So we, we do stream on both places. But, yes, everyone just stay safe no matter where you are in the world. Just really, um, mm, it's really concerning. Okay, so we've got this getaway vellum. And in the getaway, because we did a restock today and some of the new ones have gone up. There's others that I haven't got there yet. It's a process. Um, so we've got the stripes and that's from the back of paper. three and then we've got this one i'm going to try and use i'm going to attempt it and then from gnome for the holidays we've got the gold stars the pale timber and a different print so this is not in the pattern paper and this is not in the pattern paper either but but they go with it they're part of the collection that i made just it, it's just gets it's just time to get stuff done We've restocked the um, Tranquility 
and then we restocked Swan Princess, which is these three, the swans, the glitter, and the floral. And then Flower Power, we did a restock. And then Dreamland has got strawberry flowers so far. And there is another, there's other Imagine of Alice and all sorts coming. So we've got this Stamperia paper pad. And I thought we might make like a bookie folio thing that you could probably put in a pocket on a page or you could use it as like a bit of a, you know, this is what we did on our holiday. Um, some of you might have been to Africa um, or you may have been to Western Plains Zoo or Australia Zoo or Taronga Park. I have a lot of African animals, I think, too. Yeah. I'll just put up a link to the, all the Savannah stuff for people who don't know. Yes, is. yes. I've got to bring all of it home. But we're getting there. Uh, did you want to tell everyone about the virtual retreat with our oh, Okay. So our next virtual retreat is Beautiful Family, and we've stopped selling it because we're making kits. Uh, there is Beautiful Family going, but I'm not showing that. I nearly put it out for sale. Um <laughs> it's a bit silly. So our next in-store retreat is in May. We're meant to have one in February, but we converted it to a virtual retreat. So our next in-store retreat is in May, and it's called Cottage Garden. And it's sort of like mustards and oranges and a bit of green, and it's going to have a bit of a gardening influence and, and like Leela's watercolor coming. flowers. And Leela's coming to Gladstone. Get the bubble screen. Chatting on Facebook and watching the tube. That's awesome, Deborah. So tech. Um, so what... A lot of people have been asking about doing a hybrid retreat. So that's doing a retreat where we're doing an in-store retreat and a virtual retreat at the same time. And we've been talking about it for 18 months, Quentin and I have, about how we would do it. And we, we're we pretty sure we've got the framework right. We're pretty sure we know how it's going to go without killing ourselves um, but it means that, yeah, it, it does make it a bit more flexible and it, yeah, it, it is better for us too, um, from an economic perspective. So when we release a paper range to an in-store retreat, it's hard for us to sell the paper and the products, which sounds silly and it sounds calculating, but at the end of the day, we actually have to sell a percentage of the paper because we get a lot we have to buy a lot of paper like i'm talking a lot of paper when you get it printed our storeroom has over twenty thousand sheets of paper in it um I say that people will be knocking down the door yeah yeah <laughs> little paper just a little bit well insulated i make sure the insurance is paid up every month too um we have to sell a certain amount oh, to be wow. able to get the next range so yeah, and to eat, to eat. So this makes more sense to us economically, but it also means that people that are not here don't miss out. And it also means that, so some of our customers have had to move away. Some have chosen to move away, like Sandy and Neil. Um, but we're then that works the with, coast. yes, we're trying to the Sunshine Coast, I wish. I Terrible just wish. idea. Uh, we are miles away from doing that. But, it also means that customers ours that aren't vaccinated or can't get vaccinated can also do the retreat locally too. They can't visit the store during the retreat. Like, so if you pay for the virtual retreat, please don't think you can turn up at the store and just sponge off us for the weekend because that's just, it's just too much. There's too much organisation goes into it right down to your name is on your spot. So I could fit everybody in their groups on the tables together. Um, so we're going to trial this one. It's a hybrid retreat. So we've put up today, and I'm waving my hands like this. I'm going to sit on my hands. Uh, I'll put my hands behind me. So we've put up today the virtual retreat for Cottage Garden, and it's the same weekend. It will be, um, yes. It will be the same weekend. We have the $50 option, which is the six classes over the weekend in the private group. Um, and the people that come into the store are going to do those six classes if they so choose. 
we have a plan on how we're going to do the classes and how we're going to achieve it all. Um, so the six classes in the group, in the private group, and then the $75 option is if you want to do those six classes, but then you want the kit to do Friday night and Saturday night and some extra stuff, which everyone's been asking for. So you'll have that product ahead of time, whereas it used to be we would do the Friday night and the Saturday night, and then you'd have to wait for that kit to arrive in the post if you chose to buy the kit. Whereas this way, if you do the $25 additional option, so for the 75 full package, then you have it with you and you can do it then and there. And it's up to any everybody what they do. It's, it's all a personal choice. But we're going to trial it and we're going to see if it works. Um, and we'll probably actually have the August one, which is meant to be August, but we might move it to July, but I don't think so. I'm not sure. The August in-store retreat, we may actually have it up for bookings before this one happens, but it's going to be, it's going to come down to how this one pans out in the planning stage. And yes, I'm already working on the paper. Scary, scary business. Oh, I'm so and happy that I get to do the Facebook May retreat. Tonight, so. I know, D. So happy you can. What's that? No, quite a few people having trouble with Facebook, so they've jumped on the YouTube. So. Okay, so there's heaps on the YouTube. Oh, hello, Deborah and Faina and Quentin. Hello, Quentin. He's just across there. Hello, Carolyn. Swap keeps stopping and starting. Okay. Hello, Kathy. Yeah, there's a few storms about. It could, so be, it be, it could be storms. Okay, so I need to, you know, we're like 22 minutes in and I'm just waffle, waffle, waffle. So we've got a card stock restock today. And I got this cool 300 GSM smooth black, which we've never had before. Well, actually, we had it a million years ago before we put card stock online. So I've got that. And then I'm going to use, I'm going to make my little book base, I think, with the Buffalo. 283 GSM. Now we still had this in stock, but I did buy like, yeah, a lot. So you're using the black one? And Quentin had to go and get this because uh, the driver didn't quite get around to delivering it yesterday because he had too much to deliver. And Quentin thought, I'm just going to duck to the depot and check it out. And lucky he did because the driver from our area didn't turn up today. The driver from another area and he's loaded his van and he helped me. And he did. If you ever known Elisa's boxes that she gets in, none of them ever not, It's not light. These were massive. And we got this. So you know the embossed linen that we have in the white? I don't mm -hmm. have any of it here. Maybe I do. Is that embossed linen? No. So we have it in white. Well, I got it in ivory. And it's not a white ivory. It's sort of like a lemon colour but I thought it would go with this so I've got 225 GSM so you can see the wave factor and I've got 283 it doesn't wave not as warpy wave so we're going to make our base with this we're going to make like a mini book base and remembering the maximum size of a piece we could put on is a six inch by six inch piece and I cut up some scraps of white from this week my leftovers from my double page and i've got five by three photos they're my so biggest buffalo 283 283 for my book bag so i've got two five by threes and i managed to get four two and a half by two and a half fakie photos and i've got two and three quarter inch by two and three quarter i've managed to get four of them so they're my photos i usually use black fakie photos but seeing as how i thought i might matte in black because there's black tones on this and i just mm, i think it'll look nice and i've got that because i think i might if i use a title i might paint it brown i didn't wear brown till i was 25. fakie photos are the photos are the pieces of card she puts there as replacements for the, the photos, photos until you do until you put your own photos on yeah, so Sandra's Facebook's working, so she's got no storms. Usually Sandra's Facebook's really having, yours is usually having kittens, hey? Okay, so we've got this. Oh, and we've got a piece of vellum. vellum. So what was that too late? What was the cream called? 
linen embossed in ivory. Linen embossed ivory. So, oh, and if I was going to use this Explore, which he challenged me to use, how big is that? I think it's four by six. Oh, it's five and three quarters by three and three quarters. So if we make our cover, we make this four by six. So we make our middle six inches. Okay, can I have a piece of typey paper, please? I need typey paper. And I was going to not do a late class because I'm tired because I've got a kid that's not sleeping. Um, bit the bullet and let her sleep oh, in our so room. Like torturous, torturous well. Yeah, yeah, she had to sleep on me and, you know, at 2 o'clock in the morning, I need an apple. I'm like, you're not getting an apple. You can have a drink of water and that's it. We actually, yeah, she's so stressed. She's so stressed about everything that's going on in the world and being at school. And So if we make this a six by six in the middle, and then we make a door here that goes over on the cover and it's like four by six. So out of the six classes for Cottage Garden, Lisa, I've just got a question. How many of your card do you think and how many of your scrapbooking and how many of your other? I've got a lady just asking me on Facebook. So there'll be, so the six classes, there'll be, the virtual retreat we just did, we did a pocket page. So we always do a pocket page. There'll be one that's definitely a card. What did I do for the little surprise? Oh, I didn't. So we do one that's like a surprise. And things we've done for the surprise one are we've done embellies at the last one, like little embellishments you can make with the paper. We've done bookmarks, um, borders, um, mini books. Mini book, yeah. Mini book. So one surprise, I'll just call it. Uh, yep, yep. Surprise class is usually something small that you can use on other things. Then we do, so Naomi John. John. Naomi John, that's our daughter. She either does a tag or a card, but it's mixed media focused. So it's very mixed media focused, her class. So she did a serendipity collage sheet and then hacked up and you made a gatefold card that you called door card. And then I did I did a single page and a double page. <clears throat> but usually we do one that's definitely a card, sometimes two that's a card. We usually don't do more than two scrapbook pages. And one of the scrapbook pages is either interactive or a double. Sometimes. Right here. Let's go back. So then I'm thinking if we have like half. Sorry, sorry. What if we do three? Let's do three eighth inch spines. That takes, so we've got four inches, six inches, three quarters of an inch. So that's ten and three quarters. So we've got left an inch and a quarter. Right, so let's extend this out. Let's make this five. Oh, Cheryl, so what about the selfie page? Oh, and we do a selfie challenge. Oh. Plus you do a selfie challenge. Uh, but you don't always have enough to finish it. You get stuff to start it, but you don't have enough cardstock to finish that. Um, let's do four and a half inches. 
here and then this becomes three quarters an inch and then let's tack a piece on this that's like three inches by six inches okay I've done my mud back so let's cut this is 283 GSM buffalo or crab so this is a six inch by 12 inch piece and it's all inches, no centimetres. I know I was born in the metric era. I know I went to school in the metric era, but I'm not metric. And then let's do a six inch by three inch piece. And that's going to be our tack on at the end. And that glue is going to drive me nuts. Right. So you're cutting one six by twelve and one six by three. Yep. So then let's do a piece that is. Let's bring something down the bottom here. So let's make it like five and three quarter across. Let's make it. And then it'll need like an inch in here to be its gusset, you know, like it's a tacheroo. So let's do that out of the 225 GSM. So if you're writing notes, this is just slightly lighter weight. Same colour, just slightly lighter weight. So let's do a five and three quarter inch by five. I'm going to write on this. This is five and three quarter inches by five inches, and it's got a one inch gusset at that end. And, and so this was, was it five and three quarter. I was just answering someone else's comment. So it was five and three quarter by five. By five. From two point five to seven. Yeah. So then let's do. Let's do a piece that flips out here, like comes out from here, turns that way. And let's make it let's make it like three inches that way. And let's make it like five inches high so then it'll need an inch here as it's gusset so it's going to be a four inch by five inch piece so let's cut this long strip don't cut this i think we might use that so let's cut this bit five inches wide and we're going to cut it at four inches and then it's going to have so it's a five inch by four inch and it's got a one inch gusset or that, hinge it's actually a hinge was that in that 225, or 225. Yeah. so then let's get that still five inches wide and let's cut a piece that's four inches so this is five inches by four inches so we're going to cut a second piece that's got a one inch gusset in that direction this class might go over two nights and this is exactly the same again and i don't know what direction that's in so we'll go back to this piece that's five and three quarter across and let's cut how long is that? Let's cut that to six inches. Five and three quarters by six. Yeah, so it's five and three quarter inches by six inches, and it's got a one inch gusset. And that's on the 225 again. Yes. Let's see how we go with that. I might spend all night building. 
let's get our scoreboard. We've got our mud mat. I'm just going to sit my mud mat here, which makes no sense to anybody but me. You can do this on a small scoreboard as well. Right here. So we've got our original piece. Now this was six inches by 12 inches and we're going to make our front cover four and a half inches wide so we're going to come across four and a half inches and we're going to score right and then remember i said we we're going to make our hinge three eighths of an inch wide right so to do that we're going to score like at an eighth of an inch three times one two three so and in doing that we actually create when we do this I haven't done this in absolutely years what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a a rounded end do you know what I mean like so it's going to mean that we will come back and we will score you know we'll crease these nicely these three or these four bits and what it does is it creates I'll just, I'm just going to score these. We don't need to have them nice and crispy like we normally would with a book. Let's bring it across, 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 across. So that it creates more of a rounded spine across the several folds. Okay? So I don't know if you can see that. See? It creates a rounded end. I think you can see that there now that sort of creates more of a rounded end i think that's cool okay so this end here this other end up here we're going to end up with three quarters of an inch so what we're going to do is we're going to come across three quarters of an inch and score and then we're going to do our one two three eighths so we've come in three quarters of an inch and then we've scored at one, two, three eighths. And they're just eight of an inch measures. Well, isn't she meant to be in bed? Yep, they're not playing that game, are they? No, it's Carolyn's had to go. See you later, Carolyn. See you, Carolyn. Oh, she might be working this weekend. Right. Oh, Rowena's in the airport at Brisbane. Mm. Who's that? Rowena. There you go. So let's go back and find our three inch by six inch piece. So a three inch by six inch piece is going to come in here and it's going to butt up against here, but we're going to stick it on the outside. So it butts up to that score. Now I'm going to go, I'm just going to try and be a little quicker and give myself some slip room. Um, apparently this glue is the same as art glitter glue. And look, stand up while it's been sitting there. I'm just trying to clean like the it. nozzle. This is my fault, it's like this. I was mucking with it this afternoon. That'll do you. And make sure with your craft. So craft has one colour on one side and another colour on the other side. Just kind of try and make sure it's the same colour that you're showing. Okay, we're going to cover this drawing. So what we're going to do is get our bone folder and burnish that glued down bit. And that's going to help it. This is not dirt, this is just glue. That is just going to help it stay. So there we go. That's what we're at so far. And see, it's got nice, pretty, rounded ends. I think they look pretty. My opinion, I'm sticking with it. Stay there, glue. Rightio. 
So our first piece was our bottom piece. So it was five and three quarter wide by five inches high. So what we're going to do is we're going to score it an inch from one end and see how it's, this is five and three quarter and this is five inch. Like you can see it's lining up with a five inch mark. So that's the same colour on the inside. Do we want it to fold up to be the same colour or fold down? I think we want it to fold up to be the same colour. So let's do that a nice, let's get that nice crispy one. I'm going to give this a good squeeze. This needs a good. I don't think that Pokey Tool fits in this. No. Can you hear somewhere? Uh, if you're new here, mm, it's a bit raw and a bit. Um, yeah, there's nothing edited or polished. It's not planned. I don't plan anything, really. Uh, life for me is very planned. I do plan my life quite, yeah, we do have to be quite organised. I had to explain to someone today. One of my husband's anxieties and she's like are you sure i'm like well i'm pretty sure it's been like that for a while i'm just checking out where debbie's parcel is she sent me an interesting message saying it's taking a scene for it so we're going to line this up and center it and we're going to have on the cut line like on the bottom we're going to center our fold in on that center our fold because you can see your fold on that and then holding it tightly so that i don't move it oh ooze glue ooze well i don't usually use glue but i'm just trying to save a little bit of time here and i know some of you like glue so i'm just you know i'm not the biggest glue fan on the planet and look that is why look at that look at that that's why we ink things isn't it then when we fold it up it folds up nice that. and stick a flare on that thank goodness for baby knife so when it's done you do actually see a tiny the tiniest little slither and it's, you can see it's nice and straight I did that um, now the purpose of that is is so that when we close it that's not protruding so that's why we put the edge in the center of the fold line upside down Miss Jane um, and anyone that didn't grow up in Australia is not going to know who on this planet Miss Jane is. Or maybe in the UK. Was Mr. Squiggle in the UK or oh, Australia? Yeah, UK. So this guy, this five and three quarter wide by six inches high, it's going to be up here. We're going to have that up the top up here. Right. So let's score. You can see it's five and three quarter this way and it's six inches this way. And we're going to score at one end an inch in from the end. So this one's actual bone. This is the plastic that comes with the thing. The bone one doesn't fit in the groove nice. So then what we're going to do is we're going to stick this up here. Same spot. Let's put some glue on here probably should have made it a different size so that I then had the opportunity to um, if I didn't get it sort of square and straight then it didn't really show hindsight is a wonderful wonderful thing I wonder what hindsight translates at is in the, in the um, subtitles I'll let you know I said 
because I know my name, Elisa, doesn't translate very well sometimes. So let's line that up. And then it starts to come up as hindsight. There you go. Oh, that's beautiful. I like it when a plan comes together. And we're lining up the center of our fold line, the center of our fold bulge, with the edge of our main mini book folio album thingo doodah. Um, and I'm going to apologize up front. This thing may not work. I'll tell you why. Because I've never made one exactly this size before. Um, and I had no plan. This is, remember, based on. So there we go. And when we close that, oh, it's a bit screw with. She'd be right. Serious apologies. I don't think everyone sees that everyone over the world. Rightio. So one, two. Look at that. Beautiful. And then we've got three of these little fellas. So. Oh, is that your phone ringing? I thought it was my phone ringing. That's your brother. Uh, have a have a look. Your parcel left. For yeah, the rain. Oh dear. So let's get two of these. I think that was my brother on the phone. I think that's my brother on the phone. So, so these ones were five inches by four inches. Is that my brother? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just trying to get him to have come and have lunch with mum. I'm just going to do it here. So five inches. I'm going to score one inch. So it's four inches that way. I'm going to score an inch in from the edge. So we've got five inches this way and four inches this way. You can watch this video anytime. They're both saved on YouTube. The YouTube one will stay there, but there will be an additional YouTube one that will join it. And it will be actually a... Um, it will actually be... Um, sort of edited like at the start I might take out you know I might just take out a tiny bit at the start where I was not talking but I don't think there was much of that but what I do is I add pictures of the project at the start well if I got light at the start and the finish I add pictures of the project and that's I just think that's a good way to so then you've got a choice to either watch the uncut version without pictures of what it is or to see what the project's going to be at the start and then follow along and do it. But they're there on Facebook, um, on YouTube. And in our creative family group, which is where we teach, where I teach um, all of, my scrapbooking and card making classes through the week so i do a scrapbooking class and a card making class so card making's tuesday morning which we made a mini tag book this week so card making is sort of sometimes something different and then scrapbooking was wednesday night and this is all queensland times and then tomorrow morning in the creative family group nami john is going to do um her mixed media class and tomorrow she's talking about crackle paste or crackle crackling I'm, things I'm meant to do a post so we need to put this so that this rolly fold thing doesn't connect with this and buckle, right? So we need to have it that it's not going to have that buckly effect. I think we might put one down and one up like this. And that could look dodgy, but you know what? I am dodgy, kind of, sometimes. So let's do the gluing, and once again, we're having them so that, and you know, they probably could, if we get it right, you could probably have them like this, which you know, it is what it is. And they're kind of going to overlap just a little, just a barely little. Rightio, so let's do a bit of gluing. I'm not a big glue fan. I've already said that, haven't I? I did say that. 
So I'm going to hold this here. And what we're going to do is we're going to come like, let's go about a quarter of an inch up from the bottom. And let's have like a, a little peaky bit like 16th of an inch or half a millimetre between the edge of this fold and our the edge of our first roly fold score lines. New language there, roly fold. We did, I should have brought home the double page I did last night be, on Wednesday night because we did a waffle pocket. <laughs> so we did an 11 and a quarter inch long pocket. And we made a massive big photo and journaling tag to go on our waffle pocket. It was cool. We did a double. It was a double with Minte next trip. Pretty awesome. It was a good class. I was picking um, one of the ladies' orders today. And this morning, when Quentin was out, I was wrangling with the um, people that were meant to fix our car. And um, it was all Stamperia stuff. Oh, my gosh. It was so hard not to just you know, buy what she bought for myself. That's why you don't pick the orders. That's why I don't pick the orders because I go, oh, my God, I love that. They just keep me locked out the back doing paperwork. Oh, I've had my accounting hat on this week. I, I I will admit to wearing my accounting hat a lot and my planning hat a lot this week. I also did, I have done a lot of design this week. I have designed quite a few new things. And some of them you won't see for a really, really long time. Um, but, yeah. Oh, I just want to know who the crazy person was that bought all that tissue paper and decorations. Oh, that was me. I love it. I know. I've had a lot of win I had a lot of kicks this week, but I've had a lot of wins. Personal kicks, but work wins. Design wins, product wins. I made, oh, I probably made, you reckon I made 300 or 400 flares last, yesterday afternoon and last night? It's a good way of getting your um, arm muscles up. I'm going to tell you, my arms hurt. So that link I just put up there, folks, will take you to the Whopper Popper, Whopper Pocket double interactive yeah. travel page. It's Let's a travel it. page with a Whopper Pocket. Uh, Sandra's got a really, Sandra's done it already, done hers, and... It is to die for. Sandra has done just the most beautiful job of it in the group. Oh, I like that. I like that. That one, that one, that one, that one. You could stick this to a scrapbook page, really. Just saying. So let's go over here, and we might end up doing two nights. We haven't I done an extended do class nights. before. We'll pull the pin at, oh, yep, nine. Do we convert this into a pocket or do we make do we still make it a flippy thing? Still a flippy thing. What's this? 283. Let's get a scoreboard back. So this one is five inches by four inches. And yep, I've got the arrow there. And we're gonna score. An inch in from the edge. Rightio. Actually, I must thank all the people for their beautiful comments this week on our Facebook page. On our Facebook product. Lots of people have loved the Savannah. Lots of people have loved the tissue paper. So let's centre this one. So these ones, we've got one that's low. And the distance here is about a quarter of an inch and about a quarter of an inch here. So they're kind of, you know, staggered sort of evenly. Let's centre this one. And I know this is upside down. And I know I've got it sideways. But remember what we're going to do is when we put it on here, there's our glue. Put it so that it's the same colour when it's done. Oh, I apologise. I told everyone this was going to be a scrapbooking class. He doesn't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. But when when he did manage to wrangle the order of Buffalo, I am mindful. I'm going to turn this upside down. I am mindful that I've got enough of a product to do a class. Glue means I can slide this along just a little when it's not exactly in place. 
and you know it's probably not exactly in place and I'm just going to center my fold bulge over my edge and let's That was a wet baby wipe at some stage this evening. Stay. It's that hot here. <laughs> it's a little tropical. We are in the subtropics. Yeah. Fold that in and fold that in there like that. And look at that. And it's got nice rolly ends. Look at that. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And then our explore, which I'm just going to take this out. This, this explore actually doesn't go with this collection doesn't go with it does go with I gave away some get away today. yes he's giving away explores he's been trialing different um cardstock for our titles and our explore i think it needs to go there and you know what we could do we could grain it brown and fill it with vellum But then we are using black cardstock. Have I got black paint over in my thing over there? I'm going to paint it black. I'm going to do the painting now. And I'm trying to find a bit of plastic I have. No, 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 over there behind, that, behind the canvas on the easel. These here. Yeah, in that tub there. Is there a black? There's a brown. There's a dark brown. And then black. Have I got black in there? Yeah, you've got black in there. I would say just use any old black acrylic. Voice. Because the voice, voice, voice. You've been hanging around with um, Jack on. Jack on too much. Jack on carbon black, golden paint. Get out of my paint. That'd be a nice one. So these are, this is from my teaching paint and I haven't taught an art class in a really long time. Um, I use, I do watercolor with the kids on the holidays. Um, so this is golden and, and it's not that price anymore. It's a lot dearer than that now. Um, but yes, I do buy 473 more black paint. So just any black paint. Um, we should have some Montmartre black paint. We've got lots of Montmartre we're getting, but so. Well, what about a dilution shimmer black? In paint? Yeah. Oh, that'd be pretty. Black shimmer marble. Black. Oh, yeah, that'd be pretty. I'm just going to put a little bit of water on my paintbrush. Uh, this is quite a bit li more liquidy than this. Not much more. Oh, that's nice. I shouldn't be doing it on your on paper. Is that your brand new background from the No, no, no. It's on the piece of A4 paper because it's going to get stuck. So acrylic paint. Acrylic paint plastic. is plastic because acrylic is plastic. So acrylic paint you can use as a glue. Oh my goodness, you've actually got that um, black and white. Which one? This one? Yeah, the one you were using. Yeah, it's a bit pricey, but it's the bomb. Oh, yeah, I'll smack those. Yeah. $62, it is the bomb. It is the bomb. I did tell them it wasn't the price I've paid for mine. But you're doing it half a litre, 470 Yeah, but and it's... it goes a long, It's long the best way. paint going. It is made in the US. It's not made in China. It's actually made in the US Golden. Oh, Not many acrylic paints are made in the US. Uh, I think Liquitex might still be. You, uh, put in about half of what you thought you were going to um, Golden is a family owned business. I think it is floated now, but it is actually, it's on the stock exchange, but it is actually just a family owned business. Um, Golden family still, pretty sure own it. They still um, write articles in the newsletter. Um, oh, Bronnie's home alone this weekend. What will you get up to, Bronnie? 
craft. All the way, Bronnie. Hey. Oh, Bronnie. I'll have to talk to you tomorrow. I nearly sent you two books. Quentin is a doofus. Have you all met my husband? I may have sold Bronnie two of the same. And I called him Quentin, not Redshaw. When I call him Redshaw, you know he's in real strong. Oh, where's my innards? We got lamp black in a little tube too. In the oh, room. lamp black is nice. It's only a buck fifty. Yep. I'm just gonna paint my innards, my letters. Oh, 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 oh. And black paint is like walk on a bully blanket. I said walk. I didn't say the P word or the S word. What other P word? Missy, get off of that <gasps> so that's Missy Meow learning that crimp safe doors don't let your claws go in. She just runs and jumps at it. Sometimes she slides down like she's on a glass door. Yeah. 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 Bloody hey. So you're trying to catch some poor gecko to bring it in the house and let it go. Yep. Yeah. She could start whinging soon to get Quentin to come out and play. Could you just give that a bit of a rinse? Because that is a crime. My son is in the bathroom still. So. Oh, is he? Well, don't, do not rinse that in the kitchen. That explodes. Oh, it's great. Cutting black words is really not fun. Might need to knock so we get to actually have a hot shower. Just, um got my white stash. Oh well Shane paid. I told him you could you could use the credit. You'll spend it. Um or we can give it back to you if you want. Okay, making sure I've got no black paint still on me. Haha <laughs> Shane paid not me. <laughs> yep, I saw that. Right yeah. So let's do a bit of a quick let's get rid of our acrylic paint. So the lamp black is really nice from Mom Art. So it's a nice option. Now I'll tell you what I did keep was when I cut out that sheet with the circles, is I kept all the bits around because I thought what you could do is use punches or letter dies to cut out little letters and you know make little circles and tags. So let's work out what we're going to put. Yep, there we go. Dad, can you come and help me? I need some help to catch a creature. So if we do that, you can see the leopard. Yeah. Through that. Yeah, I did. Uh, it needs a bit of wash than that, thank you. So we could use that and it could have the leopard through it. So this piece here it wasn't is. Really cool tiger stencil too. Or zebra yeah. stencil. Zebra stencil. This piece here is four and a half by six, right? So we're going to cut it to four and a quarter by five and three quarters. And that's not the leopard on there. Yeah. And it's got that on the back. Let's stick that on. Now you can ink everything on this. It'll look really nice inked. Gathered twigs or something from Kimmy? Uh, gathered twigs. 
black, um, gray, um, espresso, ground espresso from Tim Holtz. It looks really nice. So I could have rounded the corners as well, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to keep it really simple. So you could round all these corners, definitely. You could mat this on a tiny border of black or gold or something. Um, but I like the idea of having it simple. So then let's look. make a couple of decisions. Photo there and a photo there. You can put a million more photos on this. Something like that. This could be a pocket here. We might make a pocket there yet. Okay. I do have some getaway paper here just in case because I think I'm going to run out of paper. this piece on here and then leave the photo for inside like as a feature piece so let's sit that one there right yeah and then on the outside here let's put something pretty <gasps> that is pretty but that's got that on it don't look at the back Elisa Deary, deary. Don't look at the back. But I'm just thinking, like, that's pretty. Just putting it out there, that's pretty. Yeah, I'll smack those. I'm just kind of inked around the outside edge, so I do, yeah. Mm. So maybe we'll put that one there and a bit of this here. Do you know what I mean? Like the giraffe picture there and the, the giraffe print there. What's, what do you think of that? Let's do that. Yes, let's. And let's put this one here. Put that one there. What do you reckon? Okay, let's cut those and stick them on and then let's start sticking the photos. I'm going to move our word. Just moving that because it's black paint and black just gets on everything. Rightio, so this is a five by three picture. So I'm going to trim the tiny little framey border thing off here. Just the tiny little bit off, just so it's nice. So we need a two and three quarter inch wide piece. And is the giraffe's head in that? Yes. So I want a piece that's two and three quarters wide. And then let's trim this little doodad off the bottom. And then it needs to be four and three quarter high. Like that. So two and three quarter by four and three quarter. Let's just whack some tape on that. 
actual giraffe skin. It looks like it. It's got so much detail. Two and three quarter by three and three quarter from the giraffe pattern. Two and three quarter by four and three quarter. Four and three quarter. Whoops. Deary me. Are you wrong oh, him? I just had a couple me. of questions here. He doesn't multitask well sometimes. Okay, so this bit up here. So we're going to put, turn our book back here. Let's put my water tape here. So this piece is five and three quarter wide by five inches high. So I think we put that there and we just put one photo up in the corner here like this. I think that's pretty. So no, what they say? It's going to be a two-page class. Do not class how long time. I don't know. Maybe. So let's just trim the gluey stuff out of the paper off this edge. I didn't trim it very well. So it needs to be five and a half wide. So five and a half inches wide, and it needs to be four and three quarter inches high. I have a tiny bit of border at the top. So let's test drive it. Yep, beautiful. Don't look at the back of Lisa. What would you call that, the African boa tree? Savannah. Savannah and it's got lines on the back. Okay. Just so you know. It might not be two nights, Quentin. Okay. You never know. I'm going to put a photo there. Okay. Well, and then we were meant to put giraffe print here. So it's going to be two and three quarter wide by five and three quarter high. So let's go two and three quarter wide. And I'm just going to trim off just a tiny bit of the inking stuff by five and three quarter high. Two and three quarter by five and what sign? Five and three quarter. Don't look at the back, Elisa. Just don't. Maybe you do, just don't look at the back. Bring this up here. Well, that's nice enough, isn't it? No, it's giraffe skin. Oh, giraffe skin. It's pretty. So then we picked this one to go. Pick this one to go down here, right? So it is five and three quarter wide by four inches high. Okay. So we need to get it to be. So let's cut the border off at the bottom. We'll be able to use that. And let's go cut it out. Let's get rid of the gory bit. So it needs to be three and three quarters high. So we've kept these nice long bits of border. So we can use these bits of border on the book. Now we need it to be five and a half. So let's have a look. No, we cut the nose off the zebra. So let's cut a tiny bit off the back here. And then let's have a look if we can get five and a half. And the zebra's nose is intact. So tomorrow is the um, release. I don't know what time. I don't think it's our time. I know it's not our time. But sometime tomorrow is the release of the new Tim Holtz colour. If you would like it. Message you, Quentin directly. Message Quentin. Or message the shop. 
preferably just message Quentin if you know how to mess and if you've got him on Messenger. But if not, just message the shop and then um, we will put it aside for you because we do have a lot of it ordered. So are we thinking of putting that one up there? Or are we thinking we'll put that one in here? You should. I think I'm going to put this in the middle. So, this needs to be five and three quarter by five and three quarter. So, let's keep the top intact. Let's find where our gory bit is. It's down here. Let's just clean the glory bit off. So let's do five and three quarter inches by five and three quarter inches. And let's have a look at that. Does it sit in there and allow everything to open? So I'm just going to trim like an eighth of an inch off the width. So mine's going to be five and three quarters high by five and five eighths wide, just so that it opens and closes a bit better with ease. There we go. There we go. Don't look at the back, Elisa. This is going to be an interesting thing to stick down. Oh, no. I've got my little fingers. These are under it. It doesn't. Um, I'm sorry, I don't have beautifully manicured fingernails for videos. And... Oh, it's a camera in there so you can see them. I don't have time for that. I know this is sideways, but it's going to make sense eventually. Rightio. Let's put something on here. Oh, let's put it here and then put something else in. So this bit here needs to be five and three quarter high by two and three quarter inches wide. Let's go two and three quarter by five and three quarter. Test it. I had tags on the back. Um, it's a tribal border print, but it had tags on the back. And I'm going to put the green painty stuff. 
so, then put the green painty stuff on the on the outer edge. Haven't told you much here, but um, Deborah said loving this project. Uh, Beck said this is gorgeous and really love. Still going pretty good. I've got I, I'll I'll pull it forty at uh, two hours. We'll see how we go with our two hour. I'm going to give myself a two hour time. So then on the back here. That is lovely, isn't it? That's just a lovely print. That's lovely too. But this is super lovely. Isn't that lovely? Let's put the zebra on. So what we're going to do to stick this on is we're just going to trim off this little outer border, this little outer black border, the whole way around. I think that might give us we're going to bring it down to about five and three quarter by five and three quarter. I'm just going to keep trimming. Five and three quarter by five and three quarter. I just love this such a family. I've got some nice Australia Zoo photos from when Amelia was a baby. Five and three quarter by five and three quarter from the greedy pattern here. Yeah. So we do need to go to Australia Zoo now. She's a bit older. We went to, um, what's it we went to it's Underwater not, World. It's not Underwater World anymore. Well, the thing at Malulabar that was Underwater World. We went there. We went. Yes, before Underwater World. Yeah, we went there. She loved it. We were going to go to SeaWorld in January, but we didn't go and visit our children in January. Um, we also didn't save enough. So making sure it's up, that up is up, it's up the right way. And making sure that we're inside our rounded edges and our top and bottom are sort of evenish. And if you really want to stay really well, just burnish you've taped I would come along after making the book and then burnish everything let's look at our title and then we'll look at our photo mats and then we'll cover some more pages so our acrylic paint is dry we've got our piece of vellum and mine's faulty uh, there's a very big, um, the dud rate is shocking with vellum, with yeah, um, printed vellum. That, um, there is a dud rate with rice paper. So we only right? used one piece of 283 and one piece of 225, is that? Yep. This printed vellum. Oh, I cleaned this out before class because I knew it. So this is just Dimensional Magic um, in one of our applicator bottles. We sell our applicator bottles singly. Uh, we do have hundreds of them in stock, but when they're gone, they're gone. We'll have to get applicator bottles from somewhere else because we're not buying product from that country anymore. Um, we used to get stuff manufactured for us and... Had a couple of bad experiences and changed our business ethos as well. We still are trying to talk Australian bottle makers. Uh, Quentin has been negotiating with Australian not bottle makers and plastics manufacturers to get them made. Where it's so the needle point they don't like. It's the needle point now. So we're we're almost there. We've just got to get someone else to manufacture the needle point. Um, we got some other bottles made for us for another art. Uh, thing we did a few years ago we bought hundreds of them so we got a special size in bottle and it was really good and they sell that bottle size all the time now so I think they would have made it in any case whether it was our request or not so let's put this over here it doesn't have to so you're using your savannah what would you what's that gallon called savannah um, it's in it's in there. Um, it's just um, beige watercolour print, I think. Okay. I think it's called beige watercolour. I'm really not that beige. inventive some days. Some days I'm a bit cheeky with what I name my products, but other days I'm just a bit boring. Remember the names of the original Basil cardstock? Seriously. 
Oh no. I think it was a sport. I think they just used to get on the drinkies. Mm. What does this piece of paper look like? I reckon the guys at um, Lindy's had the most fun naming colours. Yeah, they're on the drinkies too because they got one called Passion Pop. Every teenager knows what Passion Pop is. The teenagers now don't, but we did. Right, I'm going to grab my sleepers. Oh, maybe I'm not. Maybe I am. Oh, there they are. Making the end of the night. But yeah, making black words is very difficult. Um, machines just don't like it. So I probably did myself a disservice because I've watered down the um, paint a little bit more on the inner bits than what I did on the out on the main letters. So a bit glossier on the main letters than it is on the inner and I'm a bit heavy handed with this glue tonight. I'm, I'm not having fun with glue. It's not fun with flags at all. I was say fun with flags was exciting for some but obviously fun with glue is not your scene. Fun with glue is not my scene tonight. I'm a little bit messy. So yes my inners of my letters are matte and my outers are not. So if you want to dull it down a little bit you can either put matte medium in the acrylic paint or you could add a little bit more water but be careful not to dilute it too much that it just doesn't work very well. Wow Debra your friend needed a new hobby. She knew the name of every basil colour off the top of her head. I used to. And people would come in and go, I'm sure this is called, and I go, No, it's not. My mum used to know all the names as well. <laughs> we used to mark them all. Originally, we used to mark all when basil wasn't as huge as it got. We used to mark all the basils with their colour code on the back of them. And then I gave up on that crap. You seem like a whole wall, just a basil. Yeah. Basil's nice. just too hard to get here now. Actually, I, I I don't think they import it anymore. Did you use the ivory linen in your thing or just as fake cards? No, 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 I haven't used it. No. I was thinking about it. I'm just going to leave that to dry for a little bit. I see when that goes on here. We're just going to see him through. So, did you use any 12 by 12 pieces of paper? You put um, no, 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 I'm going to use, I'm actually going to use the back of a piece of number, um, getaway number five. So, we need something nice and calm. We just really need something calm. Okay, so we've got a piece of getaway number five. I'm going to use this and it's the same print as our vellum. So I'm going to cut a piece that's five and three quarter inches. by four and a quarter. It's going to go in here. And then on here, we're going to cut it at four and three quarters. And then we're just going to trim it down to five and a half. Oh no, we're not. Just disregard that. Actually, let's let's not disregard that. So four and three quarters by. No, don't type it in. Uh, four and three quarters by two and three quarters. So it needs to be. It 
No, I cut it wrong. I cut it at three and three quarters instead of four and three quarters. So we need a four and three quarters yep. by two and three quarters. Right, because I mucked it up. And then we need a... We do need a five and a half by four and three quarters. So I cut the wrong measurement. I said one thing and I cut something different. Was that last one? A four and a half by what? Or four and three quarters by Five and a half. Five and a half. Right. And then we need And you know that piece I cut wrong? I could have used it. And then we need a three and three quarter by five and a half. And we need another two and three quarters by four and three quarters. Three and three quarters by five and a half, not the other one. Um, two and three quarters by four and three quarters. All from oh. getaway five. Wow. Yeah. I probably could have got more if I was a bit screwy. So this one was three and three quarters by five and a half. And I had already cut that wrongly for something else. And this one, this one, this one, and this one are two and three quarters by four and three quarters. And this one is four and a quarter by five and three quarters. I'm just saying the measurements again just to help you if you miss them. Leave it a $50 meerkat experience at the zoo. Oh, there you go, that's pretty cool. Anyhow, yeah. Wildlife HQ cut the big pineapple. Oh, cool. Don't look at the back. This would be really nice done in the um, Alice and Wonderland stuff from Samperia. Or oh, the Lady Vagabond. Even, any of them. I knew I had another bit somewhere, so I just need to cover two more pieces. So these pieces need to be
So they need to be four and three quarter inches high. And I'm going to get rid of the gummy bit from this part of the book. So four and three quarter inches high. Right. And then they need to be, let's cut the border off the sides. And you can use that somewhere else in the book. You could use the elephant, says. Yeah, if that doesn't fit. So then we need one to be two and three quarter inches wide, and then the other to be two and three quarter inches wide. Four and three quarters by two. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Don't look at that. Elephant pot just wasn't wide. Was another savannah sandwich on it? Yeah, with elephants on the back. Holy dooly. What's that? Jungle notepad. Is that Asian animals? The one we've got? The one we haven't showed everyone what we put in the show and tell. No. Because no. Deborah's after, I wish, I wish some of those Asian animals um, and jungle themed paper range. Um, a DIY book, I Yeah, I'm going to fussy cut this out. I'm just going to stand over here and Quentin's just going to come and show you the DIY books. I'm just going to fussy cut this out, okay? And all I'm doing is cutting it on an angle. I'm just on an angle, trimming it out from behind. Now be very careful not to be too boisterous with it because vellum tears more than paper. So don't like overcut and just, yeah, just be a little careful. You don't want to be the happy hack. No. The happy hack. Just in this tub here. Yeah. Oh no, just there. I'm just here fussy cutting it. I'm just here cutting this out. Why are you putting a shirt on? So they don't see my bare belly. I'm not going to see your bare belly. It doesn't hang out that far. Uh, look at all the stuff you got under there to get. <laughs> don't judge me. Hey, you day. Speaking of judging. Um, all right. Let's screen that one. All right. So, so the DIY, the studio light DIY okay. block. Wild and free. Sorry. No. I don't know. Did you feed her? She's your, your, your responsibility. She's feed her. If you didn't feed so, her, she hasn't been fed. Yep. These ones, as you can see on the back, are the pop out um, scenes. So basically, they're already pre cut for you. You just have to pop them out and may have to clean them up a little bit. So we'll just flick through this one. Hey. She's on a chair. You might have to go and. There's two of each page. Yep, this is definitely not Asian. And now we've gone into the pattern papers at the back. So the front of the book is all fussy cutting or pop outs for you. And the back of the book. Um, it's got a panther in it. Yeah, it's got a panther. In India. They are um, Asian jungle. It's got small eat elephants in it. So and they're Asian. But it's also got lions. Maybe it's a confused book. All right, so that was Wild and Free. So it's South African, it just says Wild and Free. It does say Wild and Free. This one is Love to Create. And, uh, this one I would call Retro 80s. This is crafting. Crafting, Lisa says. Yep, it's, as you can see, it's got lamps, scissors, banners, paper airplanes, gym boots. Uh, oh, look, McFrosies. I can't say that. Frozen drinks, sorry. Um, telephones and there's Don't touch her foot. typewriters, old style cassettes. We all had them hanging out the window when we were younger. Uh, My brother used to love to do that. Yep. Yeah. Looking through, these are still all pop outs, by the way. And then we move into the pattern papers at the back. So two of each sheet. I don't flick as fast as Elisa, do I? 
Actually, yeah. my brother taught Melton to do that. Yeah, hang the cast out out the window, yeah. Yep. There's something to be said for rewinding a cassette with a pen. What can I say? It never works the same again. Although nowadays, if you had a cassette player, you are definitely not a youth of this era. All right, this one is called Vintage Treasures. Um, it's got a motorbike on it. Looks like a bit of a Charlie Chapman scene over there. Clicking, wounds. Oh, look, swordfish. Maybe that wasn't a great thing. Okay, cameras. Chessboard. We'll name it like that. Motorbike. More motorbikes. Tags and bears. Uh, don't want to go as fast as we can, folks. Now we're at the pattern papers. Oh, the crinkly paper. Okay, so moving along. Pattern papers at the back. Yeah. Filing cabinet drawers, locker drawers, uh, old style balloons, more locker drawers. Holy crackers, that looks like some sort of uh, yep. nightmare from the 70s. Uh, old style pencils. Right, not pencils. Oh, that was Amelia's question when we got in the car. Old style bicycles, sorry. How are pencils made? Yeah, how are pencils made, Mum? So and that's Dad. our weekend project for this week. Oh, look, I just could show on the back here. I've got to research how to make pencils. And, uh, and I haven't told you the price either, but you would have seen it uh, $24.95. Uh, last one, I promise. This one's called Explore the Universe. Okay, it's obviously a space theme. Yep, with pop outs at the front again, two pages of pop outs. They're pretty cool pictures, boys and girls in little spacemen, space girls. Okay, satellites, uh, the Earth, the Moon, a couple of rocket ships. Uh, I don't know what that furry little critter is. I was going to say a fox, but maybe not. There's a fox, a dog, a cat, and an elephant. A fox, a dog, a cat, and an elephant. There you go. Everything you're bound to see in space when you go there, yes. Okay, yes, it's definitely an elephant. All right, so moving along, a few planets, a few satellites, yeah, into the pattern papers. This is a pretty funky sort of movie. Mm, it'd be great for, you can't make a whole mini album, make a heap of mini albums. You can make a heap of mini album for these ones. Okay, nearly finished, I promise. More elephants. Let's go. Oh, Ooh, that's nice. And, and there's the back cover. Oh, I better pick up her papers that are falling on the floor. So $24.95 they are, guys. Um, and they're A4 sheets. pads, 32 sheets. And then I'm sure Elisa showed this one the other night. This is the golden oldie one. Um, it's $40.50. It is a lot of sheets. It 60. is 60 sheets of 170 GSM paper. Um, it's not for old, it's not old people. It's, yep, and there's pop-outs in there and pattern, what's that? Pattern papers at the back and pop-outs at the front. Yep, so pattern papers at the back. Two each of 25 pop-outs, 25 sheets of pop-outs and one each of the 10 pattern papers. Look at that, the boss knows it off the top of the head. I just picked the orders, put the boxes. Okay. Got that, uh, yeah, what can I say, distracted the other day, I folded a pizza box inside out. That was uh, highlight of my day, really. All right, there we go. And how's the fussy pattern going, dear? Done. Done, look at that. Yeah. I've just got to pick you up a piece of paper that was on the floor, and I'll get out of the road. Thank you, everyone. You did a good deal, Ben, didn't he? Uh, if you're not in Australia, Delveen used to work on a... Delveen, Delaney, with Tony Barber. Right. I finally found a cassette of my interview with my grandmother. Oh, that's exciting. Oh, that's cool. I did that near eight. I went and interviewed, not my grandmother, but she was Mrs. Can Coughlin. you use the rice paper in scrapbooking layers? It was just for mixed media. You can use it in scrapbook layers, for sure. Oh, Oh, just pick it up. Um, you can definitely use it. Uh, so when you do this, make sure your glue isn't behind the vellum. It's only behind the cardstock. Um, you can definitely use it in your scrapbook layouts. Because remember, art supplies 
like matte medium etc are made to last forever they're made to last in a gallery so and they're acid free artists are a bit more pedantic even than some scrapbookers so yes you definitely can um, just about anything you can do in your art journal uh, except for oil pastels, oil paints. I wouldn't use any oil product in your scrapbooking because it leaches. Um, and I wouldn't use newspaper and anything that was not acid free. Um, but anything else you can definitely use in your art journals. You can always buy that copy of the things you can't think of acid free. Just... Yeah, but I'm just saying with the, the rice paper, definitely. Yeah, but newspaper clipping. So, I was talking so about the um, a few of the ladies have tangents over the last couple of years in Naomi John's classes made scrapbook layouts instead of um, art journal pages from her mixed media classes so let's stick that on there and hold it down because most of the glue was drying because of the fan not the 30 degree heat we're currently experiencing yeah. It's 9 o'clock at night. It's 8.47 at night and I'm sweating. Yep, it's currently 27 degrees here. <sighs> Love the tropics. It's a subtropics. Yeah, well, it ain't the subtropics tonight. Okay, so let's get this one. This border and I'm just going to trim it down so it's like, it's going to be just under an inch wide. And then I'm going to cut it to five and three quarters long. And I'm going to just get this here. Okay. It's identical on both sides. How cool is that? All right, here you see the kit's currently coming in at $15.55. Oh, I'm not quite finished. I know. Oh, just... No, no, but I'm thinking yeah, I'm going to add a piece of black card. So if I don't save it, I'll put this. Yeah. We've had all that. been there before. We've all been there more than once before. Quentin's mainly typing at the end of class trying to get something up. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get this piece of smooth black and I'm going to cut some photo mats. So did you write down my size of my photos? No. No. So I've got two five by threes. Two five by threes, yep. Um, I've got four two and a half by two and a halves. Two and a half by two and a half. And yep. I've got four two and three quarter by two and three quarter. So I'm going to cut a piece that's three and one eighth. I'm going to cut two pieces that are three and one eighth by five and one eighth. It's only a tiny mat. So it's only a tiny border, right? It's just a tiny little border. The two and three eighths, right? No. Three and an eighth by five and an eighth. Yeah. Are you ready for the next one? No. Can I say it to them? Yeah. Two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths, four rolls. Two and seven so these are two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. Two 
smooth like that. It is nice. Nice of course. And then we've got four of two and five eighths by two and five eighths. Oh, you've got Pam Clark and Michelle Clark. Oh, there you go. Hello. Catch up with this tomorrow. Thank you. Okay. Sorry it's so late because it's like, yeah, it's nearly 10 o'clock in some states. I'm going to cut the middle out of my photo mats to reduce weight and save cardstock. What were the last two sizes? Two and five eighths by two and five eighths, four off. Two and five eighths by two and five eighths. Right. He is a two finger typer. One. You could cut this out neatly. Just saying. The girls at on um, Wednesday morning, social morning, were saying that I should design a T-shirt that um, says Hacker Alert, and it's like a picture of a hacked out photo mat on a t-shirt because they all want one yeah. maybe that's what we need to wear to craft, to craft shows when we do eventually go to craft shows really hoping we get to go to melbourne in august, august. really truly big, drive from Queensland. big ply or drive we think we might be hiring a truck because sweet pea's gone our truck our hot pink truck is gone um they wrote her off and made money um because she was worth more dead than alive well actually no she more than doubled in value and the insurance company were able Pays to make money what we had an yeah. for, but... obviously not the insurance company we have our car insurance insured with um because they're negotiable. Yeah, that sounded real good here. We made two insurance claims. Well, we didn't make it yet. We got back in. Yeah, the someone car. reversed into the car. Someone stopped suddenly on the freeway. That's why the other truck, why the truck got. Yeah. Yes. We couldn't get anyone to fix it. Actually, that was at the sunny coast of the pouring rain, and now you've got pouring rain again. Yeah. It never rains here. When it rains here, it really rains, but it's not raining. Yeah. Could rain. Could rain. Hopefully it rains. We don't want much, just a couple of us. We don't want the rain, the creek to flood us and cut us off like everyone else is. Takes a lot of rain to flood here. Yeah. We're on a harbour. Where you going? You need glasses underwater. Yeah. You know, something's wrong. Something's dead. I'm just going to tack these to their mats. Sorry about that. That's only 85 cents for that 300 juice sunny coast. I know. It is beautiful. Do you have a good scribe who to put up a link out? I'm just going to put some cardstock on the back of all my photos. Love this so much, says Melissa. Thank you. I have to learn to say thank you. I have to learn to accept compliments. I have to learn to believe people. Oh, crud. Okay, I think you got the whole clock. I've got all the clerks. You've got three clerks. I don't know whether they're related. I think they are. Well, a lot of them up here are. The scrapbookers up in central Queensland may not live in the same towns, but a lot of them are related. Well, they're kind of. They're not, yeah. but they're Michelle, all married to Claire. Pam and Melissa. Uh, Melissa used to come to retreats, if it's the Melissa I'm thinking of. It's been raining here all day, and the cut off says, Doc, I do, Doc. Oh, dear so not, you're in a lovely place to be cut off, Doctor. Just craft. Just the murky creeks up this way, trust us. You know, I don't have to worry about mowing the front lawn today. It's dead. Okay, so I'm going to stick these on, and then I'm just going to put a tack. Like, I'm just going to put a, a swipe of tape on the back. 
to then well, I think I've got that one else. What did that do? Great brag brag book says dot. Yeah. Oh yeah. Brian said, such a cute book, I need to go back and to get the sizes of the book. Yep, they're all there, Brian. I'd listen to Lisa. Uh, would make a nice birthday or Christmas gift, yeah, would die. Um, and Liz, yeah. Liz said, love this. Great to give to parent grandparents with photos of a trip that they did with grandkids to like Australia Zoo or or somewhere. Do you know what I mean? Like really great gift for granddad after he'd been on a trip with the kids. Or when the kids have gone somewhere to give you know, give them pictures of the kids. I know grandparents love pictures of kids and what they're doing. Okay, I'm just gonna put a swipe across the back. Stick them in. I'm going to try and not do a second class, but I don't know how I'm going to go. I probably need to pull the pin, but no. I was wondering what the talking was, but it's in the Oh, it's the relaxation lady. The oh, relaxation. she scares crud out of your hay. You go to walk up the hallway. And Amelia's room's at the top of the hallway and the relaxation lady will be going, or oh, Noah, you'll hear Noah walking around and you go, what's the matter, mate? And he goes, oh, it was a relaxation lady. I thought there was an intruder. <laughs> She's just really scary, the relaxation lady. So I'm going to put one of these ones here. I'm going to put one of them here. Send to this one. So when we make the kit tonight, folks, there won't be a photo on it um, straight away. Obviously, we haven't taken it yet. Um, but, yeah, looking like coming in at flat on $16. Need an elephant. We missed out on the elephants. Where did you get all them plastic card bits from? I plastic card them out of the book. Oh, but you're going to add a piece of paper to my glasses. <laughs> So I've got a circle with a tree. Leave your mouth plate in your mouth. You could put these circles on, um, map them on black. There you go. Going to Australia Zoo when Dad goes on his permanent holiday. Are you okay? <laughs> um, and Marie said it's all good. Hubby is at book club tonight. There you go. Yeehaw! Yay for book Obviously you're not flooded in, Marie, if you can go to book club. And the elephants are on fine. These are two and a half by two and a half. So we have done so much with this book that we know every millimetre of the book. Walk through life with the strength of a lion and the tranquility of a sunset. I think we need to use that. That's pretty cool. Put that on foam. Just overhang our photo to slide a bit and then let's put is there a lion in here? I did cut out a mother lion, oh, a big daddy lion. I did cut out the mother lion and her babies. Which is stronger, the mama lion or the bub or the daddy lion? I think the mama lion. I reckon a mama lion had killed for her babies. Because, you know, there's plenty of mama lions here watching class, aren't there? Yeah. there we it's alright, Jason, I'm here with you. Ha 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 ha. 
for that. Need something there. Let's just. What do we got left in photos, peeps? You leave somewhere to put sediment. So. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Got two big photos on this one. Two, two and three quarter by two and three quarters. Jacqueline's telling you she loves it. Don't have pictures in motion. Life is an echo. Your actions, so show what you have in your heart. That sounds nice, so that. And then let's put. Am I at laser? This, this is a bit tired to do this one tonight. Yeah. You can watch it any time you like. Oh my gosh. There is so much here. Live every day of your life. So if you do buy a kit for this, when you get the kit on the label, there's a QR code. Just simply scan the QR code with your camera open on your phone or your iPad and it should take you straight to the YouTube Yeah, class. just use your camera. We've been putting the um, QR code to go to YouTube for the later classes. That way because you don't have to be easier. signed in the Facebook. Yeah. yeah. You Otherwise you interested. actually need to be signed in the Facebook first. There. And let's do live every day of your life. Focus. Focus. Oh. What did Amelia I think it was Amelia used to say, Dad, focus. <laughs> it's like really? unstoppable I'll add more to this later wild and unstoppable oh elephants we needed or did we use elephants already oh we did them there but or zebras let's do zebras So you could just go to town here like I'm only putting a drop in the ocean of what you could stick in here. When you decide to start a journey the path will appear. That way, that way, that way, that way. You could wrap a ribbon around it or make a belly band, but 
Righty -o. So we've got these little circles that I cut out from my fussy cut sheet. Piece comes from within. Yeah, piece comes from within. That's really beautiful. I love this. This would just make a nice gift, and then someone can just stick photos. They can take these off and stick photos there. Oh, I do have these squares, but oh, we mm -hmm. didn't quite get there, did we? You could add more of those embellishments. We have one before, could we? What's that? You could add whichever one of those embellishments suited your photos. Yeah, you could. You could get some terrified of the elephants like the other one for the elephants. Oh. Well, one of them ended up beating the elephants, didn't they? Yeah, one of them was not afraid of much at all. <sighs> one of ours just goes off and you know, it does all sorts of things when you go to places. I really, really need this kit. <laughs> I'm just, yeah. May all good things find you and stay with you. Oh, that's what we're there. I like that. Okay. I love it. Look at it. It just went from nude to done in minutes. And it just needs a bit of stringy stuff, which I should have stuck behind here. But... I've got to fuss about. So I'm thinking we'll do, Clinton, could you cut me, could you cut me like, two metres of that please? Two metres. Would you like my ruler? Yeah. Thank you. Would it's you like a pair of scissors? I'm going to just do your even two metres. Right. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick this on here with our stringy stuff behind it. But I'm gonna make a little end doodah for our string. I've got four little circles. They're four of the little circles that were on the um, paper. Dimensional magic. Put the ends of the string in it and stick the two sides together. I have a bit of dimensional magic gets on it, so be it, because it'll make it stronger. It'll be like a glaze. Find the halfway point. So let's find our halfway mark. There are other two little circles. Yeah, B is telling me what a great job we're doing tonight. Oh, Clinton, you're just fabulous. She might have to put a name at the front of that first. He inspires me. He is my muse. Well, actually, my <laughs> kid's my muse. Can I just say something? I believe in muses. So my dad passed, and this is going to sound really sad, but it's not meant to be sad. It's meant to be sort of like show what the love of another does. My dad passed away. We didn't realise that he was mum's muse. My mum's an artist. She's tried to paint, but she just doesn't, you know, she just hasn't been able to paint. Oh, crap. That looks terrible on that side. They might paint it black up. Oh, it doesn't matter. They're just dodgy beads. Because one was bigger than the other. Let's neaten this one up. Yeah, 
Here we go. We might just have to rub a bit of black paint on. Right. So we've got them. Stuck How a little lens. Kit cost? I'm just going to leave it at $16 because like $0.30 cents worth of juke is... Uh, let's call that a freebie. Oh, can you tell who owns the business? <laughs> Not him. You'll get the juke in the class. You will get the juke. The he just can't be bothered changing the price. Okay. So we're just going to put a tiny bit of tape on our bit of string in the middle here. And then we're going to stick our prancing giraffe. And we're going to stick our prancing giraffe with glue. Because it will be stronger in the end and it'll give us a bit more grabby grabbiness. And it'll take, but it'll touch on. It will actually be better at holding said um, juice string. I think the relaxation lady is skipping this one. Yeah, the relaxation lady is quite old. She's, um, She's Naomi John's relaxation lady. She's actually quite old. I think Naomi was 10 or 11. That's what's that. She'd have to be at least 10 years old, the relaxation lady. Uh, we don't know where the um, Discman is because the Discman has got the whale music we had when Milton was little and um, when he was a baby. It's got whale relaxation music as well. The relaxation lady is it's a guided meditation to go to sleep for anxiety some anxiety relief so there we go the glue really helps because you can mold the glue and the dampness of the paper around the string and get it to hold really well so yeah so then our bodgy stringy thing tie a bowie thing Let's have a look. We do need something just here. So our dotty circle things, I'm going to put some dimensional magic out. I'm going to grab my tweezers. Because I keep leaving glue on the top of that. You can dab the glue there. That's the problem. Tammy says it looks amazing. I love it. Thank you, Tammy. A lot of fussy cuts in this too. Oh my gosh, I haven't cut it all. It's so. It's a little worried you're going to run out of paper. Yeah, I had to add the piece of getaway. So. Let's put a little one here. Just so it's not too nude in places. At least the last mini book you made this week, I could just like spin it like a ring. Yeah, this is two mini books this week. You're on fire, here you've got a mini book thing now. You inspired me to go on a holiday. Ha ha ha, you're a funny man, Rachel. Okay, so I'm going to tie it up. You can just see our, our cheetah through there. The cheetah, isn't it? I love that giraffe pattern. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Love the giraffe. So let's try a bow. I've got a little taily bits, and they're dodgy. They're dodgy ass. Yeah, trim up the right size. Uh, I did. One was bigger than the other, and it's so the other one's lopsided. See, that one's okay. And it's only the lopsided one that wants to show. So we've got our little book. We've got our rounded edges. I showed you how to make those. So let's untie. Zhoop. Zoop, zoop. And then we open here and here. We've got one photo left. And then we open this one up. And we open here and here. And we go over so we don't get glue on it. And we open down here. And we open over here. So the uh, rainbow coloured link there, guys, is the class. We just obviously don't have a photo yet. Um, so Quinn will take a photo after class. Yep, and I'll put it on there. 
We'll have one tonight. So we'll have a better one here. tomorrow. Or do we we'll want to do this? Let's do that. Let's do this one. So let's do that one, that one, that one, that one. So that one, that one, that one. That looks better because that's a circle. It goes around in a circle. We'll bring this little guy in. I'll put this one in and this one in. And there we go. And we did that in two hours and 15 minutes and I waffled for the th first 30. So what's that? Uh, an, hour an hour and 45 of class. And Quentin showed product and I showed product. and Lots of waffle. And we've got, look at all the stuff we've got left from that six by six paper pad. Samperia make awesome paper pads. They really do. You can make a couple of cards or tags with the innards out of your photo mats. You can make tags out of these. I don't know if you've got any cool Did you tags put the piece of paper number five in? Yes. Dear. What do you mean, tags? You have like tags on your pattern paper. I don't, know um, I don't know if we've got any of them left. So we've got this left. I'm just making a pile here of what we've got left. I didn't use the flare buttons I bought, but Quentin already stole one of my flare buttons. So you could definitely put a flare button. On. We could have stuck two flare buttons together on the ends. So Marge just says it's super. Collecting That's up. Awesome idea. Don't throw out these little bits of um, African print borders that we took off because you could make, you can use them. They're awesome. They're the best kind. So these are the best kind of scraps. Look at those prints in there. Those awesome little prints. So I do to miss most of the class, but she loves it because she's going to watch later. Thank you. And then you've got that on the back, which goes, this goes actually. The border on paper number five. My borders. Oh, we've got some craft left. We've got a photo mat because we didn't use one of our photos. Look at that. Lots of little bits of um, border. Make a whole page with, so you can make a page and then have on it little borders. Like all these little bordery bits. Look at that. That would make a cool page. Look at that. It's raining cats and dogs in Brisbane. Oh, I hope everyone's okay. On the way, on the way up to Gimpy Store. The guy only came today to do the mould treatment for the leak they can't find in Naomi's flat. So I really hope it's not rain induced leakage. Well, she's on the second floor of five floors. No, so she's the bottom floor. The bottom floor of five floors, yeah. Yeah. Good night, Marge. You enjoy yourself? So there we go. I guess she's been weaving. Oh, weaving? That sounds fun. You're making a basket. I wanted to get one of those um, hanger things that they have at Ikea that you use for weaving and Quentin won't let me. It is really cool, Sandra. I love it. Marlene Fenn says it's amazing. So there you go. Thank you very much for coming along. I really hope you enjoyed yourself. And I'm glad we made this because I have never, ever made one this size. I usually make folios, like travel theme folios, sort of more A5 size, like a bit taller and narrower. Um, I tell you what they're really lovely for. So I've made a couple of vintage ones a little bigger than this. So I make them a little bit bigger. So almost A4, not quite, a little bit bigger, probably about that big. Sort of probably this width and about that height. And I do like vintage colours and that. And I put in them like, um, I do them for one lady in particular. I put, and I don't have as many flippy things, but I put, she brings me like photos and newspaper articles and it's, and the story behind the ring. So her granddaughters that inherit either her wedding rings or engagement ring or her mother's or mother-in-law's wedding or engagement rings, they've each got a folio and it's got the wedding photo, um, uh, later in, some later in life photos of the couple in question, the story behind the ring, the receipt for one of the rings, um, from a really old jewel that used to be in Gladstone, the newspaper clippings and done to match the style of the wedding. So, yeah, 
these folios are great for that and this curly bit is really good because you can add more to it so i know that's just waffle but yeah. thank you tammy thank you Marlene. so thank you all for coming along i really hope you enjoyed the class um i know it wasn't a scrapbook page but i hope you get something out of it and um have a lovely weekend um if you're in europe or you've got family in europe um, please take care please tell them to take care and we're sending our thoughts and prayers with them a friend and i have really um talked at length about you know how much how, how much energy we're trying to send over good energy and if you're in a flooding area or heavy rain area um, please take care don't take risks if it flooded forget it and if you're like us in drought yeah just chin up at least you don't need a Zodiac. Zodiac's a boat, by the way. It's an inflatable boat. Thank I'll, you, Mel. I'll have to drop one off on Leslie. Thank you. We might have to drop our Zodiac down to Leslie's place. We might have to store it at Leslie's place. She's going to get groceries in. God knows from where. Yeah. Yeah. I wish we could help Leslie. I wish we were closer so we could just, yeah. I wish we could do more. So take care. Stay safe. Love you all. And we'll see you tomorrow morning at 9.30 in the Scrapbook Fantasies Creative Family Group for Naomi John's Mixpedia class. And she is talking crackle. So all things crackle tomorrow. Um, yeah, should be really, really good. She's, um, she's an awesome little artist. So take care, stay safe, and we'll see you then. Bye.